And now the other tip I'm going to show you is um, how to automate your CV trim knobs. So again, let's create an instrument um, and let's take a Maelstrom sound. Let's go for a pad this time. Uh, let's take uh, the Trillium pad. Okay, let's create a mixer, a matrix. Let's randomize it. Let's pull it down a little bit because it is a pad sound. So you want those long, slow, evolving sounds. Okay, so now you've got this going through here. Now, let's say I take another matrix and I'm going to do a unipolar curve and I'm going to have it affect the filter. I'll affect it fully so that you can hear the difference. Um, let me turn it around. We'll turn this to curve. We'll create a random curve in here. Okay. Bear with me while I set this up. Okay. So you hear that difference there, right? You now have this curve affecting the filter. I'll even do, um, I'll even create a second CV merger and splitter. And we'll do something else affecting the shift. Okay, pretty drastic there, right? Now, let's say that I want to automate these trim knobs. Okay, right now, right click, you can't do anything with them. But there is an easy workaround to actually there's an easy workaround to actually um, affect those trim knobs and to, to be able to control these. So just bear with me and follow along. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a Thor. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to send the CV that's going into here. So the filter we will have going into CV1 and the shift we will have going into CV2. And um, CV1 will go out to the filter. CV2 will go out to the filter or the shift rather. And actually, we don't even need CV2. We don't even need this spider. So we can just delete this right there. So now you've got the curve going into CV1, and then you've got the output going out to CV1 and 2. If you play it, nothing's happening. That's because we have to program it. So we program CV input 1, and then we program CV, uh, nope, we program CV output. To one and output to two, and this is also going to be CV input one. Okay, so now it's fully the amount is controlling. It's making it fully available, and the CV is passing through the Thor and out to your CV device. Okay, let's do one other step here. Let's push the amount on both of these, and we're going to scale it by rotary one. And they're both going to be scaled by rotary one. Turn up rotary one. It's affecting your CV. Okay. Now, what I want to do, and what I wanted to show you, is how you can actually selectively control this. So basically, if you selectively control the rotary, what you're doing is you are essentially controlling that trim knob over here on these two. Okay, so to do that, we are going to take all of these devices. It's a lot easier if you hold down Alt and click them and then just select each one. Right click and combine them. Then hold your Alt key down again and you can expand them. Okay, now show your programmer. And on Thor uh, 1, you're going to have Rotary 1 control Rotary 1 here. So now this control 
is your filter. Whoops. Filter shift amount. Okay. So let's just play it again. That's with nothing. No CV is affecting that sound. And that's with the shift and the filter being fully affected by these two matrices right here. Okay, just so you see that again, what's happening is the matrices, well, this matrix actually, is passing through the curve from this matrix going to CV1, and CV1 and 2 are going out to both the filter and shift parameter, and they are being selectively controlled by this rotary 1 knob which is also being tied to this. And that is how you selectively control the CV trim pot on the back of this device. You can do that with any CV trim pot, by the way. So that's been a couple of tips for you. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this. I'm gonna have some more tips coming for you, so stay tuned and please come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks very much for your time.